Alrighty. Let's do this dance. The finals! It's been all day. Four and a half hours. This is a marathon. I think maybe next tournament I'll just come in in round two or something. <laughs> Who are they gonna pick? Uh, yep, Swarm be Swarm. This is, I think, what we all anticipated. That's okay, though. <clears throat> so, it's all gonna be who goes Spawning Pool first, who goes Fast Expo, how soon between them are they gonna get plus one, Zergling Speed, who gets a second guess, things like that. And if it... it Zerg v Zerg is all about keeping the pressure on. I think when you're playing 1v1, I think most people's least favorite matchup is mirror matchup because you know that who you're, the person you're facing has the exact same requirements as you. They're working with the same stuff. So it's just all about how fast you can, how, how much faster you can do what they're trying to do and then keeping that pressure on. And we've seen that showcase between these two players quite well in the past, so. Let's see, so income is virtually the same. We have a slightly later gas from Claire who saved up some extra money so that they so that Claire can get uh spawning pool. I'm not sure Claire, he, she, I mean the the name is Claire, so I wanna you know, I wanna go to she, right? But I, I don't know. I have no idea. So I've been saying they a lot. Honestly, I don't think it matters that much, because I'm assuming both players aren't watching this right now, because if they are, that's cheating. <laughs> So I'm probably gonna waffle between he, she, and they for, for Claire, because I have no idea. Also, alternatively, Claire may be just a name of some uh, from a character of something that they like. Fast Evo Chamber for that plus one. No Evo Chamber from Claire, because Claire... Ooh, Claire going for a fast expo, as opposed to just straight Zerglings. But there is an expo coming out. Two Zerglings, one Hatchery, as opposed to an Evo Chamber coming out from Groovy Man, who I assume is going to be going for a fast plus one. That will also open him up for Spore Crawlers, Later in the game, in case Claire gets those Mutalisks, and in case Claire gets an advantage with Zerglings and is able to pump out one or two Mutalisks to turn the tide, then Groovy Man has this Evo Chamber in order to make Spork Colonies or Crawlers. That's assuming that the requirement is an Evo Chamber, and I believe it is. It's not like StarCraft II where there's no requirement, because I believe they re remove that requirement sometime into Heart of the Swarm. Okay, so we've got uh, four Zerglings here running across the map. Four Zerglings here. Six Zerglings here running across the map. We have six out from Groovy Man. Small engagement here. A small victory from Claire killing one Zergling, but then getting overwhelmed, running away. I don't know how to make this very exciting. It's like six Zerglings fighting six Zerglings. It's very hard to be that excited about that. But this is the going to be the game ramping up as you see these Zerglings v. Zerglings, which can be very exciting as you see these two very good players trying to micro their Zerglings. We have 6v6 six six or 6v7 six right here. A slight advantage from Groovy. Going to chase Claire away. No speed advantage. And it looks like Groovy Man's speed is going to finish maybe five seconds faster, which actually may allow him to surround these Zerglings in time. It's going to be close. And there we go. Claire's finishes, finishes and... Uh, I thought that Groovy's was slightly ahead, but I guess not, and there we go. Some of Groovy Man, basically whoever's finished first was the, you know, they got a slight advantage and got to kill some Zerglings. So here we go, Claire trying to keep some pressure on. Claire also with an expansion that's been completed. Looking at Groovy Man's, um, that is just starting here. And there we go, Claire wiping out most of Groovy's Zerglings. Oh, it's close, it's still close. Three Zerglings trying to run around and kite these around. Wow, Claire comes in with more Zerglings and tries to wipe out this expansion, but Groovy Man running down with Zerglings, trying, trying to save that expansion, but Claire forcing the cancel instead. And now Groovy's uh, stuck in his base. It's just starting Carapace right now. He does have plus one, though, which could give him a big advantage. Does he have plus one? I think so, but no, there's a, there's just a... <laughs> How? <laughs> And Claire just overwhelming with those Zerglings. A very fast game one. Very similar to the games we saw in the past. And that's tough. That's very, very tough. Very tricky to go against Claire like that. And uh, keep in mind, Claire is a Grandmaster player. So, you know, early... 
early swarm games still function, you know, you just get speedlings, and it functions just like StarCraft II, so as a Grandmaster player, they're, ve you know, very well within your comfort zone there. <clears throat> Alrighty. Next map. Ah, uh, yeah, I, I agree. Uh, Aldumaru is talking in the chat about the the differences. I think I think that well explains. So this could end the tournament because I think nobody talked about best of five. I mean, it was brought up, but nobody agreed on it. So this could end unless we see Groovy Man come back and win two games in a row. And again, I'll root for the underdog here. And I'm going to assume we're going to see very, very similar play from both these players, unless maybe one of them decides to get crazy and play a different race. But I'm thinking, yep, Swarm be Swarm again. They want that $20, and I would too. So, uh, folks in the chat are talking about, you know, how hard it is to learn Hepta, and the thing about Hepta is, like, it's 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 an in-progress mod. You know, you can watch it and learn, and that's how you learn normal StarCraft. You can watch people play, or you just practice, and you just find one of your buddies or a random who's around your skill level to practice with. Really, it's, for me, this mod is kind of about the fun. I mean, it's just, it's just different. It's different, it, it's fresh. And Legacy of the Void is still fresh. Legacy of the Void, of course, is still fresh. And I'm not, I'm not a basher of... StarCraft 2 multiplayer, mostly because I don't play it, but I, I think this is fun to play and watch in a different way, which makes it really, really interesting. Plus, there's seven sub-factions, so again, make sure you, um, you know, head over, join the, join the Heptacraft Discord if you're looking for partners to play with. There's a reasonable amount of people in there that I see during the day talking about playing at different times. Uh, make sure to follow Summerloud on Twitch. He streams, he's the creator of the mod, he streams a lot. And uh, also on YouTube, he puts up uh, a few replays. I've been I ask him occasionally to send me replays. So I mean, I would say Summer, if you send me a replay, like one replay every week, I'd probably do one Haptocraft video a week. <clears throat> but that's just from my perspective. So pretty similar openings again. We do have um, a creep colony coming out from Groovy Man just to connect his two bases, doing a fast expansion here. Claire. I assume, let's see, does Claire know? Claire has not scouted this down here, so Claire doesn't know that there's a fast expansion coming out from Groovy Man. So if Groovy Man can get this set up and get one or two spine crawlers here, and, uh, you know, he would maintain a macro advantage. Here comes Zergling Speed from Claire. Spine crawler from Groovy Man. It looks like Groovy Man is going to try to just play very defensively. You know, he's going to get his fast expansion. He's going to try to get some spine crawlers down here. And just play fairly defensively. We already have four lings, six lings coming across the map from Claire. But this spine crawler will be done, and we'll be able to probably scoop down here eventually. This the uh No, he canceled the creep colony. He just made the creep colony to spread the creep. Where did that go? How did that happen? How did the creep spread and then he move it? I'm a little confused about that. And here's six lings just pecking away at this expansion. And you've got two more coming down, four more coming down. And the question for Groovy Man is what can he do against this? He's got six lings of his own coming out. He's building a second spine crawler, trying to burrow this one in time. He does get it burrowed and is just about to clean this up. It looks like he may be able to hold on. He loses the spine crawler, but he is able to push these zerglings back. So for the cost of 100 minerals, he was able to push those zerglings away. And Claire retreating across the map. And did not follow up with a lot of Zerglings. We actually have both players with expansions coming up and not a ton of Zergling v Zergling right now. But I do expect that to be happening here pretty soon. We have Claire setting up more Zerglings. She's going to need more if she wants to push through this Spine Crawler as well. And uh, Zergling speed just now starting for Groovy Man, but he is playing defensively and doesn't really need speed that much at this moment. Seeing the, the new Spine Crawler here, maybe making Claire a little more hesitant to give this a shot. Creep Colony getting set up here, maybe to make another Spine Crawler. And there, there's the run by. See, he's trying to make this because he wants to make a second Spine Crawler for this exact reason for this run by. And no Zergling Speed by Groovy Man means that if Claire tries to run up this ramp, probably could, but there's a Spine Crawler up here too. So again, Groovy Man playing a lot more defensively, trying to hang on, trying to stay in range of his Spine Crawler. And he may lose this sunken... Well, it's not a sunken colony yet. It's a creep colony. It's morphing into a sunken colony, but it does go down. Wow, that turned into a giant, weird-looking thing before it went down. 
And here goes Claire again, try just just flooding with Zerglings. And, and that's how I would describe Claire in this tournament, is Claire smells blood and just goes for it. Whoa, look at this, look at this guy. He's dancing as he dissolves into dust. <laughs> but Claire smells blood and knows when to keep the pressure on. Like he, you know, can tell kind of when the opposing Claire gets a little too crazy, uh, gets a little too uh, greedy. Uh, this is a mix between greedy and crazy. And then decides to push. But again, kind of a... A big advantage here and what's going on Claire getting a lair finishing plus one that's gonna make a big difference we won't have any plus one from groovy man groovy man stuck at 25 supply versus 34 and we will see how this goes units killed is a little more even than I would have expected to be honest using a raptor up there to jump up to scout to see how much was up there and here we go pretty big engagement here I feel like Claire probably gonna pull out ahead Way more Zerglings than Groovy Man can hold on to, and that's it. <laughs> how? <laughs> and I agree, it's just, it's incredible how that Zergling control is, because they they seem relatively even in supply for a while, and Claire somehow, on like a even Zergling v Zergling, even with a Spine Call in there, able to just mechanically move those Zerglings around just right. Anyway. Congratulations to Claire for winning the tournament. Clean sweep, not losing a single game. Most most of them were most of them were 2-0. I think almost all of them, except we saw Schneider versus Solo, who was a 2-1 at the end there. But that was pretty close. I mean, obviously Claire swept everything, but we had some really interesting matchups there, and I had a great time casting this. So I hope you I hope you liked watching it, and I do plan on releasing more Heptocraft content. I'll probably split up the Twitch VOD here and put some up on YouTube. But again, uh, it's big good game to Claire. Congratulations. I don't really plan on sticking around too much longer because my voice is shot. But uh, as I put up more Heptocraft on my channel, make sure to leave some comments. Make sure to check out Summer Loud's channel or on Twitch. Summer Loud does stream Heptocraft all the time. So <clears throat> hope you had a good time. And I am heading out because I am, I need a break. <laughs> but talk to everyone later. I hope you have a great weekend.